What's going on guys, Nick Foy here from AskNickFoy.com and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I got via email from one of my subscribers and she asked, you know, why do you use Teachable to host your online courses? So as a course provider, somebody who sells online programs, um, you know, I've tried different platforms in the past and Teachable was the one that I ended up going with uh, for my current courses. So I've got Profitable Blogger right now, which is my, it's like a 30 day course. Uh, you can complete it all in less than 30 days, but it's set up to give you a bunch of step by step action to take over 30 days to get your blog set up to get all the plugins installed, your blog articles, your pages, your landing pages, your email list, product creation. I mean, we cover how to get everything set up. So you're basically getting your whole business set up in 30 days. And at the end of those 30 days, you're ready to go and start making money from your blog, from your online business. So uh, that's one of the cool courses I worked on last year that I published and released. And I use Teachable to host that course. Uh, the other one is Profitable Pinterest Traffic. So Pinterest was game changer for my business. It now sends thousands and thousands of monthly visitors back to my golf website. And it sends lots of visitors back to my other websites that I've got, my real estate website, uh, my online business website, asknickfoy.com. But primarily I was testing out Pinterest for my golf brand and it took off like crazy, increased my traffic, increased the subscribers to my email list, increased sales. So these are the two courses that I'm just letting you know that I've created. And so why did I use Teachable to host these courses? So for one, Teachable is a free platform. Uh, it's, it's, it's not technically free. There's a 10% fee they charge. So every sale that you incur, you're going to have to pay Teachable 10% of the sale, uh, which, you know, it's not too bad when you're first starting out. You're not making a whole lot of money anyway. So it's like occasionally when you make that, that sale here and there, the 10% fee is not a big deal. But for people that are selling, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars a month, 10% uh, can add up to a lot of money. So somebody selling, let's say $30,000 a month, they might be giving away 3,000 of that to Teachable and at the 10% fee. So once you get more sales and your volume goes up, they actually have other plans where you can go on to like a monthly subscription. So I think I pay like 40 bucks a month right now. So it's about $480 or no, I paid, I paid $400 for the whole year. I did an annual plan. I think if you do it monthly, it's like 40 bucks a month. Um, but I did their annual plan. So I'm paying, you know, like less than $40 a month. I paid like 400 bucks for the whole year. And that cuts down that 10% that fee. It wipes it out. Now there's still credit card processing fees. Uh, so like I use PayPal to collect payments. I use Stripe to collect payments. Uh, so you're still gonna have to pay those uh, payment system fees. Uh, but that's pretty much natural. You know, I've got other products that I sell on my website through WooCommerce, which is a free plugin for those of you that don't want to use uh, a platform like Teachable or Udemy or Rizuku, Rainmaker. Um, trying to think of any other teaching platforms out there. But WooCommerce, that's another good way if you want to set up a store on your own website and not have it outsourced to like a third party platform. Uh, but the main reason, you know, why I did outsource to a third party platform is just the ease of use. You know, it makes things a lot simpler. You're not trying to worry about coding and plugins and all this stuff, trying to build your own store. Instead, you're just using a platform that's already proven to work. So all I have to do is drive traffic from my website, from my social media, from my email list. Those are three places I can drive traffic from and send them all to Teachable, to my store page on Teachable, and then they can enroll in my courses. Uh, over there on Teachable. So Teachable, it's, it's super simple for beginners. You know, you you set up your, your sales page. They basically give you a template. You just customize it so that it fits your business. Uh, it's really easy to change the font size, the font color, font type. You can add different drag and drop boxes. So their sales page builder is super user friendly for beginners. You don't have to have website knowledge. You don't have to do any coding. Um, so from there, somebody clicks through your sales page. They already have a checkout page for you so that they can you know, easily check out. You don't have to worry about building it. It saves you lots of time again. You can customize it however you want, but I just use the basic checkout page template. Uh, and then from there, they've got the payment processors. They integrate with PayPal, they integrate with Stripe. So you can collect payments you know, through these 
um, basically mainstream, you know, traditional, well-known payment systems because people are, might get a little eerie, you know, giving you their credit card details on your website, but if they see, oh, I could pay with PayPal or Stripe, it feels more secure because those are, you know, proven platforms people are used to using. So that's another cool thing about it. Um, so once they check out, once they enroll in your course, the whole back end is what's really impressive about Teachable. So they've got what's called modules. So you kind of start off creating a module and then underneath each module, you create individual lessons and you can upload all types of media to each individual lesson. So I can upload a video file, an MP3 audio file. You can upload PDFs if you want like written content or like worksheets or bonuses that you want somebody to be able to download. Um, so basically, you can just drag and drop and it makes it really easy to organize your modules and your lessons uh, by topics, by categories and kind of move them around with the drag and drop feature. Uh, and then from there they've got like a preview button so you can see what it looks like. Uh, but just the design, the overall user interface, it looks really fancy and really professional instead of trying to use some kind of like free pl plugin on your website. You'd have to go in and pay a web developer to, you know, do the design, make the interface look professional on your own website. So I just like they've already done this for you. Uh, and all you have to do is create the files that you want to upload to your course. So all I have to do is create the videos, you know, record them, edit them, and then upload them, create the Word documents, turn it into a PDF, upload the PDF file, and then my students can download those PDF files to their computer if they want to read them. So if I want to upload like worksheets that they can print off to use as part of the course, um, you can make the videos downloadable, you can make the audio files downloadable. So overall, it just it takes a lot of weight off your shoulders, saves you a lot of time using this platform that's designed for teachers. So you don't have to worry about building your own custom platform back on your website. And you know, you're just paying a small fee to use this service, like 40 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month. It's not a big deal if you're making thousands of dollars in sales every month. So that's why I chose Teachable. Um, and you know why I like it is just the interface, you know, the, the layout of everything. It makes it look professional so students take you serious uh, and they actually, you know, are committed to your course. Once they get started, they can hop from one video to the next. It auto completes. So once they complete a video, it automatically takes them to the next one. So I just, I just like the overall, the overall design and setup of Teachable. Now there's other platforms out there, again, that do the same thing that are just as great. Teachable is just the one I've gone with. I think some of what weighed into my decision was the other influencers I was following, they were using Teachable. So, you know, if they're using Teachable, it must be good. So then I started using Teachable and now I've grown to like it and now I've grown to recommend it to you guys. So it's kind of one of those things where you see other people using it and that's what helps convince you to use it for your own business as well. So that's, that's kind of all I got for you today on why I chose Teachable. Again, you should experiment though. Check out other platforms just to make sure if Teachable is right for you, or you might find another platform uh, works better for you. Uh, you can compare pricing plans. One platform might be cheaper than the other, but again, Teachable lets you start off for free. They just take 10% of every sale, so you don't have to worry about paying a monthly subscription if you're not making any sales for a while. When you do make that occasional sale, you give up a little bit of it to them as a fee, but you know it works out in the long run. As you grow, you can eventually switch over to that subscription plan and cut down how much you're paying in fees. So thanks so much for watching this video of why I chose Teachable to host my courses. Again, I've got Profitable Blogger, Profitable Pinterest Traffic. Those are my two courses right now. I've also got an email marketing course that shows you how to use ConvertKit which is the service provider I use in my business to send emails to my subscribers. So if you go to asknickboy.teachable.com, you can see my store page, or you can check the links below in this video. I've linked to them as well so that you can check them out really easily uh, because again, that, those courses are gonna help you get started on your blog and on Pinterest in 30 days or less, get you up and running so that you start making money from your online business. I save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, by showing you what I've already gone through, I've already done this, I've already paved the way for you, showing you my experiences, what worked, what didn't work, so you can save yourself a lot of time and headaches by you know, going through this course and learning from me. Uh, or you can just subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got lots of free video content here for you as well that I think you're gonna find helpful. So thanks for being here and I hope to see you guys in the next video that we upload to the channel. Take care.